Hey folks, I'm Jesse with Pony Box Wood Shop, and today we're going to talk about one of the most used tools in my shop, my leather woodworking apron. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know a few months ago I teamed up with Patrick and Michelle over at Leather by Dragonfly to come up with this custom woodworking apron. Patrick and Michelle make all types of custom leather aprons and tool holders for woodworkers, metalworkers, and just about any other type of craft. I've been using this apron in my shop for several months, and not only does it keep my most used tools within an arm's reach, but it also protects all of my clothing from getting ruined. The first thing that Patrick and Michelle did was send me a canvas template with some temporary straps so that I could put it on and test the fit and where I wanted all my tools to go. And they also included some different leather patches that are different colors to choose from. So after receiving my template, we set up a video conference and Patrick and Michelle got on and helped me through each step of the process. They helped me with the placement of each and every one of my tools. They added their expertise as far as what they've seen works and doesn't work where I needed help. And they also helped with the uh, complete customization and fit of the apron. So once we got on the video conference, I was able to put the template on and laid out all of my most used tools. And as you can see on here, you just lay the tools down, traced over them everywhere you wanted them. So it was easier when you can actually wear this template. Uh, and they had some suggestions and placements of where things should go. Arms length, are you left-handed, are you right-handed, uh, which tool do you use the most, and all kinds of different things. And as you can see, some of the things where I was like, hey, I want it this way, they had some different suggestions, so we crossed them out and uh, flipped the square over into a different direction so that it didn't, uh, the tape measure didn't interfere with the square. Little things like that that they're great at helping you get through. After we had the placement of each and every one of the tools, then we did some measurements, figured out the length that I wanted my apron. Uh, I went with kind of a medium length, just to write about mid thigh. Uh, you can go as long or as short as you want. After that, we kind of went over what colors I wanted. I knew I wanted the black apron. I like the look of that. And uh, Patrick suggested the brown pockets, which are, look awesome, I think. Uh, I like the contrast in the two, uh, and it really makes them stand out and unique. Now, after we were all said and done, I folded it back up, placed it in the envelope that they sent with the template and sent it back to them so they can get to work on it. And what was really cool is that I follow them over on Instagram at Leather by Dragonfly, and I was able to see a lot of the steps as they posted photos and videos of them handcrafting uh, this apron. Um, I thought that was really neat. I enjoyed following along, getting to see my apron built. Uh, they really do some amazing work. Uh, they even they hand do all the rivets. Uh, Michelle does all the stitching. Um, they do some, some just excellent work on all of their products over there. Uh, I'm going to put a link to their website down below. Uh, make sure you go check them out as well as their Instagram and YouTube. So once I got the package, when it was done, I got it opened up and I was just hit by the incredible smell of leather. It smelled like a boot barn. Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> um, I also was struck by once I got my hands on the actual apron itself, just, just how well it was made. Uh, as soon as I got my hands on it, there was no doubt that I was going to be wearing this on every project. And there was also no doubt that it was going to last a lifetime. So with that being said, I'm going to back the camera up. I'm going to show you some close-ups of some really cool features on this apron, as well as where I have all of my tools placed. Maybe it'll help you if you're looking to get one uh, of what tools you might like and where you might like them. Uh, a couple of the cool features that I <laughs> did not expect was one, my logo in leather stitched to the front. I thought that was really cool. I love having my logo out front. Um, they have theirs up here as well, uh, which I thought was neat. And also the American flag pin. I thought that was really cool. So another cool little feature that I'll show you a close up in a second is on the pencil holders is I asked for three pencil holders, but what I didn't realize they also make these little slots here so that when your pencil gets short as you sharpen it and too short to fit in this long area, they make these little slots and you take these little guys and just slide them right in the slot there and you got a place for your small pencils. So, all right, with the camera backed up a little bit, you can see that mine's kind of a medium length. Like I said, you can make them as long as down to your knees or you can bring them up to your waist. As I turn around, you can see how it attaches in the back. And when you put it on, it just has this one strap here that you undo and then you can just slip it off and back on. Uh, it fits well, it's adjustable with these straps back here and you can pull it as tight as you need to your body. All right, if I can get the camera to focus as I got a little bit closer, you can see the leather patch that they made and uh, hand sewn right there to the front. You got the leather by Dragonfly patch on the front, uh, the very well-made and sturdy uh, American flag pin. Um, also, I like to keep my lapel mic right there. It gives me a good place, not on my shirt. 
uh, to put my lapel mic, which I really like. And then you see the top portion of how I made my uh, apron. So the bigger pocket here, um, I had originally made it for field notes. Field notes can go right there. Really, it's kind of a utility pocket. It's big enough. I can put all kinds of different things in it. Another thing that I like to use it for at the same time as my field notes is my phone. It's a great place to be able to put my phone. And then I've got three pockets for pencils right here. Now again, like I said, each pocket is made for taller pencils. And then also as your pencil gets shorter, it can slide. Each one of them has a little slot there that you can slide it in. Right under that, I have the magnet. It's just a built-in magnet. It's pretty strong. I like to keep different little bits, maybe a couple screws if I'm working with something uh, that's only taking a couple screws, then I'll put them right there. But it's a pretty strong magnet. As you can see, I'll take my pocket knife and it'll stick right to it. So it's a pretty big pocket knife. The thing's strong, it'll hold just about whatever you need it to. All right, let's see if I can back up and get the camera to focus some. So you see the utility pouch here, which I don't typically just keep anything in it at, uh, at any time. I just have it where I can stick stuff in it as I'm working and building. And then my little pocket here that I use for screws. As far as my tools, I went with the 641 Woodpecker Square and the Delve Square from Woodpeckers, two of the most used squares that I use in my shop. For the Delve Square, little pocket on the left side. For the 641, small pocket over here, fits oh, back up a little bit, fits directly into that pocket. You can see it's custom made for the 641. That's nice, 641 on this side, Delve on this side. It's got a D-ring attachment here, so you can clip stuff to it if you wanted to. What I use it for mainly and what it's used for is uh, shop towels. So very handy to have a towel right there. You can always wipe your hands off. It's great to have. Right above it, you see the metal uh, stainless steel ring here and tape measure. Always good to have tape measure on your side. It's probably the number one thing I'm looking for in my shop all the time. So you can take it, measure stuff from right here on your hip or just pop it off and use it. Like I said, I went pretty minimal on mine. I've seen people with all kinds of different stuff, pockets on top of pockets. Um, to be honest, if I had it to do all over again, I probably would add a few more things, but I love it. Cannot be happier uh, with the make of it, with the placement of all my tools um, and uh, quality of this apron. All right, folks, that does it for us today. Do me a favor, click on this video right there. Check it out. Guaranteed it's a good one. Also, go down in the description section. Check out Leather by Dragonfly's social media uh, accounts. I'll put links to them down there, as well as all the tools that I have on my apron that I've showed in this video. Anytime you use those links, it supports the channel, and I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.